Merry Christmas, Diocese of Olympia, and all those watching. Today, we remember the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, in a little town called Bethlehem. His family traveled there, wandering, really. In a sense, this was a homeless family. They finally found a place to lay their heads, and Jesus, a human who would change the entire face of the planet, was born. That night was probably a very ordinary night. The whole world was probably not watching that night. In fact, many in that little town were most likely totally oblivious to this monumental, world-changing event. We can miss such things, too, and have and will in the future. I will be in that not-so-little town of Bethlehem in just a few weeks, and when you go there now, it is a stark reminder of the realities of our world. A few years ago, I bought this version of the Holy Family's journey while in Bethlehem. It's a crash. I find it to be so very poignant and moving. It's basically a scene with the wall which now divides Bethlehem and the West Bank from Jerusalem. Two very holy cities divided now by a wall. In fact, the message of this scene is that were the Holy Family to make that journey today, they would not be able to finish it, not without going through a checkpoint. This reflection is not one of blame or of political slant. It is simply one of reality. What I'm telling you is the truth. There are many, many reasons for its truth and reality. I share it simply to ask that in this Christmas season, perhaps one discipline you can hone is true listening, true study, striving for a deeper understanding of the realities of this world now, and not simply getting lost in the rather sanitized fairy tale version of this story, our Christian story, which is rich and powerful and to me filled with truth, and also any of the stories that we've been told or will be told. This, our Christmas story, is not a story we can leave there in the comfortable retelling, but instead we have to bring it forward to now and what it is in reality now in that not so little town of Bethlehem but also in every little and big town and even more inside each of our souls hearts and minds Christmas season and the journey toward Epiphany is a good time to ask ourselves will love be birthed in our souls or something else will love rule will Jesus vision of our life together rule in us or something else in our tradition, Epiphany means the manifestation of Christ to the Gentiles as represented by the Magi in our collective story. But the word Epiphany itself means a moment of sudden revelation and insight. That's what our journey through the Christmas season, not a day, but a season, ought to be about. Jesus is born. We contemplate what that means for our lives and in our lives, and then we journey with that wonder that new reality in our lives and then arriving at his side we suddenly see our lives and the meaning and purpose of them anew fresh deeper I hope this Christmas journey toward Epiphany can truly end in Epiphany blessings to each and every one of you and Merry Christmas